Hello my friends, today's video will be about the nightlife in Punta Cana. Very often people ask me to advise a resort with a good nightlife. Well, I have to disappoint you here. In the majority of the resorts, the discos are boring. There are rare exceptions. If you want a real nightlife, you have to go out of the resort. You will definitely hear from different people that it's dangerous to go outside, but don't worry. In this video, I will tell you where you'll have troubles and where it will be safe and you will definitely have fun. By the way, my name is Corina. I've been living in Punta Cana for 15 years. Please support me by subscribing my channel. You will find lots of useful information about the vacation in the Dominican Republic here. And please don't forget that you can book tours with us with the best prices and absolutely risk-free because you only pay in the bus. Please message me to my WhatsApp and I will give you all the information about the tours and my recommendations. Well, let's start. The best and most exciting nightclub in Bavaro is Coco Bongo. It's absolutely safe because they pick you up from the lobby of your resort and then they bring you back. The pickup time is from 9 to 10 p.m. and you come back at about 3 a.m. There is lots of security there in the club, lots of people too, and the shows are really great. I do advise you to visit Coco Bongo during your stay here in the Dominican Republic. There is no sense to go there twice or more times because the program is basically the same, but it's really great. The tickets start from $70 per person, transportation and drinks are included, and there are also VIP options, gold member, royal service and front row. You will have international drinks and be seated in special areas. By the way, if you buy for $70 or $85, you will not have place to sit. You can buy the tickets for Coco Bongo in your hotel or also you can book them with us. Just message me to my WhatsApp and uh, the price is always the same no matter where you reserved it. Even if you come to Coco Bongo directly, the price will be absolutely the same. Another interesting place here in Punta Cana is Imagine Disco. Actually, this nightclub is located inside a real cave and it really looks awesome. This nightclub was very popular before. I don't really know what happened, but now it's only open for Saturdays. They have two rooms, one is with hip-hop and the other is with different kind of music popular and latin and you can write to their instagram to check the prices and the working hours normally they also do pickups from the resorts the third really great disco here in punta cana is oro it's located in the hard rock resort they say it's the most expensive nightclub in the dominican republic the lights are fantastic the design is luxury so the disco is really great but it's not open daily you always have to check they do not provide transportation right now from the resorts well those two places were basically tourist attractions now i'm gonna show you where we local people go by the way check my dominican vlog instagram almost every day i post short interesting videos and information there about resorts vacation weather and life in the dominican republic but let's come back to where we local people go to have fun my favorite place is havana it's a bar actually three bars located in the same place next to Coco Bongo by the way we go there on Fridays and Saturdays because there is live music you can dance sit drink enjoy the Caribbean atmosphere and the music is Latin of course salsa merengue bachata reggaeton and popular hits it's safe there you can take a taxi from your hotel it's a good area not barrios nothing bad will happen to you 
I basically come here every Friday with my girlfriends because I love late music and salsa. Next to Havana, there is a Congo bar, which is also very popular among local people. It's also located right here next to Cacabongo in the same building, actually. The entrance is free. There are go-go girls, popular music, also very good and safe place. You cannot use the transportation of Cocobongo to get to the bar. I'm talking about the buses which pick up clients from the hotels. So you also have to take a taxi to get here. Congo Bar and Havana are open during the week too, but as you understand, Friday and Saturday are the most fun days. There will be probably no people on weekdays here. We also have Hard Rock Cafe in the same downtown center next to Cocobongo. It's open daily, but they also have concerts or some special events sometimes. There is no free transportation from the resorts either, so just take a taxi. What else do we have here? Well, there are a couple of beach bars. Those are not discos, just bars where you can have a drink with your friends. I don't really think that it's worth going out of the resort because of this. Maybe only if you rented Iron Bin here. So we have Onos Bar, Soles Bar, Hurricane Cafe. They all are located in Los Corrales area. If you rented Iron Bin B, you will probably live in El Dorado area, so you can visit a couple of bars which are walking distance here. During weekdays, it's normally empty, but on the weekend, there might be lots of people, especially when it's high season here. But I would repeat, there is actually nothing to do here if you came to a resort. It will be actually the same in the lobby bar of your hotel, or maybe even better. Well, the places I described before are mostly safe. There will nothing bad actually happen with you. But we also have a couple of more places which are more or less okay. I mean, rather safe. But they are not my favorite ones. First one is called El Can. It's not a touristic place. Actually, a bar. They have live music sometimes. The other one is Drink Point which is also very popular among locals. Why don't I like those places very much? First of all, the music is too loud. You cannot hear yourself or your friends. Second, those places are really good if you wanna find love for money. Well, I hope you understand me. So there is lots of boys and girls here who are hunting for the tourists. For example, in Facebook, there are a couple of groups of women who was cheated by Sanki Pankis, Dominican gigolos, and half of them found their boys in the drink board or El Can. But if that's what you're looking for, those will be good places for you. Or you can just go there for a diversity. Well, this was the list of night places, bars, and discos here in the area of Bavaro and Punta Cana. They all are rather safe, located in the touristic area, but don't forget, we do not walk at night. So if you want to go somewhere, take a taxi. And when I say it's safe, it's supposed that you do not get wasted, trust to strangers and leave your belongings unattended. Well guys, I hope this video was useful for you. Please subscribe and ask your questions in the comments and see you here in Punta Cana. Bye bye!